So if you have two power series and you need to multiply them, it's not all that pretty. It's a lot of brute force. Adding and subtracting, super easy, right? You can just add your um, a sub n's together. But if you're multiplying, we're actually going to have to like write out some terms, do some distributing multiplication, right? How we do for polynomials, and then see if we can come up with an expression for what that product would be. Okay, so I have, I've started with some, an F and a G. So F of X is um, two times X to the N from zero to infinity. G of X is N times X to the N from zero to infinity. And we're going to find a power series that represents the product F times G. Okay, so we can't just multiply, right, our two um, general terms. We're going to actually have to start writing some of them out. So let's write out a few terms of F. So f of x, so we're just going to write plug in the n value. So if n is 0, x to the 0 is 1 times 2 is 2. If x is, I'm sorry, if n is 1, I'll have 2x. If n is 2, uh, 2x squared. Okay, I got it. 2x cubed, 2x to the 4th. Okay, I'm tired. Plus, right, plus dot 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 means it just continues on forever. That's just the rep, uh, continues on, can't write and speak at the same time, um, continues on forever. That's that notation, plus dot, dot, dot. Right, that's a little, um, the dot, dot, <laughs> I just did it again. I'm a big fan of the dot, dot, dots, um, and ellipsis. Right. Okay, so now let's write out a few terms for G. I am not going to change colors because it would be right, uh, too much going back and forth between F and G each time. So G of X, if N is 0, that one's a 0. Um, I'll go ahead and write the 0 there. It doesn't matter. If uh, N is 1, so then I just get an X. And if N is 2, 2X squared. If N is 3, 3X cubed. Okay, you're right. You have the pattern 4X to the 4th. Okay, I'm tired again. So now we're just going to start writing out some of the terms. So think about back when you would multiply polynomials, right? And if you had right, anything other than, so put in your mind, we're multiplying polynomials. And depending on how your instructor in your algebra or pre-algebra class talked to you about that, if you have just binomials, you can FOIL. Sorry, I'm hearing weird sounds in my house. Um, but if you have a binomial times a trinomial, then you have to write, take the first term, multiply it by everything in the second. Take the second, right? Take the B, multiply through the second, and then combine your like terms. Okay, so that's what you need to be thinking about for this one. And I'm not going to write out all of them, right, because they go on forever. But we'll just start writing out a few and see if we can find that pattern. Okay, so we're going to do some um, polynomial multiplication. We're going to collect some like terms, and we're going to look for a pattern. Okay, so the 2 goes through first. So I'm going to do f times g. So 2 times 0, I'm not going to write that. So 2 times x, so I'll get a 2x uh, plus uh, 4x squared plus 6x cubed. This is just the 2 going through uh, plus 8x to the 4th. Okay, I think I know what the pattern would be for this next and right. So plus 10x to the 5th, okay, plus. So that was the 2 going through. Okay, now I am going to change colors. So now I'm going to take the 2x through. Okay. Now when I write that, I'm going to write it down below so that I can line up my like terms. So the 2x times 0, I don't need that. 2x times x, that'll be a 2x squared. So I'll put that here. 2x times 2x squared will be a 4x cubed. Okay. Uh, 6x to the 4th. Uh, 8 x to the fifth. Okay, I see the pattern. If I needed more terms, I'd write them, but I think I'm good. Okay, let's grab the next one in orange. 
So the 2x squared is going to multiply everybody. So the, sorry, 2x times the x, sorry, 2x squared times the x, that'll be 2x cubed. So I'll put that under my other x cubes. 2x squared times 2x squared, so that'll be 4x to the 4th, um, 6x to the 5th. Okay, I think I could get the next one if I had to, but I think I'm going to be done. Okay, let's grab one more. Let's see, do I have one more color over here? I've got a green, I guess. Um, okay, so now we'll grab that 2x cubed and take it through. Let's see what that does. So 2x cubed times x, that'll be a 2x to the 4th. 2x cubed times 2x squared, that'll be 4x to the fifth. Okay, I think that is good enough. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go back to blue, and let's collect some of those like terms. So f times g, just to write out what that looks like, I'm going to get 2x plus uh, 6x squared, or yeah, 6x squared, plus um, 12x cubed, plus 20x to the fourth. Um, oh, can I, am I going to get any other x to the fourths? I better wait, right, just to make sure that none of those other products are going to give me an x to the fourth that I would be missing here. Okay, so hold on. Um, so 2x to the fourth would have been my next one to go through. Um, so I did the 2. That's going to give me my x to the fourth here. Um, 2x squared, I have its x to the fourth term. Uh, 2x squared, I have its x to the fourth term. 2x cubed, I have its x to the fourth term. When I get to 2x to the fourth and I start multiplying it, it's not going to contribute an x to the fourth term. Do you guys see that? The, the first one on the next row is going to be an x to the fifth place. So I won't add up my x to the fifths because I there will be one that I know that I'm missing, so I'm not going to do that. So let's see now. So plus dot, dot, dot. Okay. Is there a pattern here that we can see? Okay. So you can pause if you want to look before I do the spoiler. Okay, spoiler alert, here it comes. Okay, so the series from 0 to infinity, because we right, start where the other two started. So let's look at those. Let's do the x's first, because those are pretty nice. Right, that's just going to be x to the n plus 1. All right, here's 0. So let me get a 1. Uh, 1, 2. Okay, so that's good. Now what about those coefficients? I've got a 2, then a 6, then a 12, then a 20. So depending on... Right? I, I'm sure there are different ways to do that, but what I see is a factorial. So 2 right, is 2 factorial. 6 is 3 factorial. 12 is 4 factorial. Oh, that's not true. 12 is not 4 factorial. Okay, I'm going to pause and I'm going to look again. Okay, so I see it now. Do you guys see it? So it's not going to fit there, right? Because what I have for each of these, right, is n plus 1 times n plus 2, right? That's going to give me, that's at least one way to get me those coefficients. Okay. So let, we'll just check right here. So 0, 1, 2. So here's where n equals 3. So if n is 3, I'm going to get 4. Sorry, 0, 1, 2. Oh my gosh, this is where n equals 2. I can do my math. If n is 2, I'm going to get 3 times 4. There is my 12. Okay, so here is what we get if we multiply f times g, which was, right, so f was 2x to the n, g was n times x to the n. If we multiply those together, right, we get n plus 1 times n plus 2 as the coefficient, and then x to the um, n plus 1 as our power of x.